welcome to my channel today we will discuss progressions in that uh, first we will discuss arithmetic progression here arithmetic progression is a list of numbers which is obtained by adding fixed number except to first term to its uh, preceding term we will get the arithmetic progression but uh, by this i did not understand anything let us take one pattern okay 1 3 5 7 what is next number you can tell say 9 11 okay so what is the common difference or what is the fixed number in this pattern 2 how we will get a by difference of second term and first term that is always fixed how it is fixed let us tell 3 minus 1 or 5 minus 3 or 7 minus 5 or 9 minus 7 or whatever it is the second term minus first term third term minus second term fourth term minus third term like this the difference is common that is only the fixed number here fixed number is added to its preceding term here 3 we got by adding the fixed number to the first number but first number is not obtained by adding 2 to, to any term that's why in the definition except first term that is given first number is not obtained by adding any term to any other term that is fixed clear so let us understand the general term to denote that uh, first we should understand what is first term we will call as a1 or a what is the second term a2 what is the third term a3 a4 like that we will get uh, the last term or general term or nth term or l all are the same names of the last term last term can be called as a general term or nth term or l l means last term this we will use in a some questions right so how we will derive the general term okay let us discuss here one is a first fixed number clear second number how we get by adding the fixed number okay for a here we are nothing added for a we are nothing added for a what we added there is a fixed number this d this is what d d is a common difference that is only fixed number for first term d means fixed number added to get the second number that is what a2 this is first one a1 is it clear a1 is nothing but itself first number a2 is second number i am getting by adding a fixed number to the first number clear so a plus here any d any d not added means fixed number one time also not added can i write zero times yes clearly for a3 what i am doing for a3 means for third term 1 plus 2 plus 2 here how many times fixed number taken two times 1 plus 2 plus 2 two times 2 added to the first number so that is nothing but a plus d plus d that is nothing but a plus 2d is it clear for first number there is no addition that first term is itself for second term a fixed number is added clear for third term fixed number how many times added two times added that's why a plus 2d here to understand clearly we can write like this clear fourth term how we will get a for first term more one more fixed number is added same fixed number one more time a plus d plus d one more d added how many d is fixed number three times added clear so by this we will generalize what is the generalization observe here what is the term uh, first term first term how many times added a uh, fixed number zero times added mix because first number is fixed that is not obtained by adding any other number right clear second term by adding how many times d here we can get 1d 1 0 2 one there is a relation one is a uh, diminishing or reduced clear 3 a3 means 2 for third term two times fixed number is added for first term zero times fixed number is added for second term one time fixed number is added 
for a fourth term how many times i did a three times clear there is a relationship that is only the general term i think you have understood if it is a following up to nth term what will happen this all process i am not writing first term means how many times i did a fixed number 1 minus 1 times 1 means 1 minus 1 here 2 2 minus 1 times i did the difference okay here 1 is a decreasing that only i am making as a formula 3 means how many times i did 3 minus 1 times 4 means 4 minus 1 times fixed number is added to the first term clear in the same nth term n times we will add n times or n minus 1 times right n minus 1 times so a plus n minus 1 times fixed number is added to the first number so this is the general term or nth term have you understood so a n or t n is equals to a plus n minus 1 into d have you understood how we got this formula so by this simplification we will understand later we should uh, remember this formula